right guys, today we are gonna be doing a video on installing these aux beam um, little LED pods. Got these for Christmas and uh, she's a gorgeous day out. So I thought we'd uh, do an install video. It is a little windy and I hope that it's not loud in the camera, but it probably will be. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna install these babies today. These are the new reverse light upgrades. So these are some of the leftover bits and bytes from that uh, sidestep install. Leftover brackets for other makes and models, I said to, to hold on to them because you never know. And I'm actually using these to mount my LED lights underneath the truck. So I'll go show you what I did for that. All right guys, so we're underneath the truck here and uh, this is uh, the location I picked to uh, mount the lights, the reverse lights. Uh, the hitch is right here. And it's just up on the frame. So all I did for these brackets is I drilled another hole and used self-tapping screws and screwed it right to the frame. And then I drilled a 3 8 hole to mount the light on. And that's simple, guys. I, you know, I was thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do to mount these lights. I'm going to have to make a bracket of some sort. And... You know, I did the sidestep install and I thought, hey, these might work to uh, to use to mount my lights. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. It just tucks in there real nice. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you. Uh, we're gonna drill the other side, the other bracket. I only drilled this one for uh, to see if it worked, to see if I liked it. And I do, so we're gonna go and uh, drill the other bracket. There we go, we got it all drilled up. I think in the last clip I said uh, 3 eighths, but it's a 5 16 hole. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's simple guys. Uh, this hole I drilled a 15 64 hole. Didn't really matter as long as the uh, self tapper uh, slid through. And then yeah, that's all that mattered. So that's it guys, it's that simple. Just like that, we got it all mounted up. Same as the other side. And uh, I'm going to mount the lights on there so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to eventually spray this with uh, Rocker Guard. In Canada, look at the rust. Oh my goodness. So we got to protect that and it's bare metal. So we'll just spray that with some uh, Rocker Guard. And it'll be nice and black. There we go, guys. We got our... Uh all mounted there looks pretty slick and uh, from the back of the truck if you're gonna be behind a vehicle you're not really gonna see them that much but if you wanted to tilt them down you can adjust it on the light itself on the bracket here or you can literally just bend the bracket a bit but uh, yeah I'm super happy with that that's gonna look really good check out the other side here so yeah we're gonna move on to some wiring now Okay guys, um, we got everything set out here. We're gonna wire up uh, the power. The two, we're gonna connect the two powers together from one light to the other. And we'll do a common ground. And um, yeah, and then we'll go underneath and tie into the wire that I ran underneath the truck already. I didn't film that, but uh, I mean, I'm running wire underneath the truck. It's not a big deal, right? So yeah, so uh, we're gonna solder these together. So I had some camera difficulties, technical difficulties, so uh, I meant to film the uh, soldering of the wires and everything, but uh, yeah, we had some issues, so here we are, we got them all um, soldered up, and I got everything in loom, and we're ready to throw it underneath the truck. And these are the switches I got off of uh, Amazon, and when the toggle switch is on, there's a little LED light there that comes on. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty stoked about that. They seem like pretty good switches, so yeah.
Okay guys, I got her all wired up, <clears throat> tied in, everything all loomed, and wire all nicely ran across over to the other side, everything all zip tied, and I'm going to do the ground, so I'll just grind a little spot and ground it right to the frame. But yeah, that's how she looks. And here's a shot from behind the truck. Looks pretty slick. I'm pretty happy with it. So I got my uh, power wire ran into the truck and I decided to go off the battery um, so that I can, uh, I'll have constant power and I can run the lights uh, when the truck's off if I want. All I have to do is open the door, flick the switch. So we'll just hook that up when we're ready for power onto the battery terminal lead here and we'll be good to go. So originally guys, I wanted to mount my uh, switch for my reverse lights here. I was gonna have two uh, side by side. One was gonna be for my compressor and the reverse lights, but <clears throat> upon further inspection, when I took this panel off, uh, there's a clip that's right there, so I can't. The uh, switches are a little too long and that clips in the way. So now I'm going to mount them right here side by side. So we're going to go take that panel off and drill the holes. There we go guys, we got the switches installed and that's what they look like there. And I already checked uh, with my knees to make sure everything was good and I was happy with that. So now we just gotta hook them up and uh, check out how bright these lights are. Okay guys, it's night time and so it's a perfect time to test the lights. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what they look like. Uh, looking through the mirror of the truck so here i'm going to turn on the switch we have a nice uh blue led light it's pretty bright but when i'm driving um say when my compressor's on the light shines down here nowhere near my face doesn't bother me at all here's the view from the uh passenger or sorry the driver's side uh rear view, or side mirror and uh, you can see how bright it is it's really nice um for backing up so that's what I wanted and we'll get you an out outside shot <laughs> <laughs> 